Shiny hair is something that us curly and wavy hair girls can struggle with. Straight hair is naturally a flatter surface and so it reflects more light. Straight hair has more tendency to be shiny than curly and wavy hair. So what can we do about it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So shiny hair, shiny hair is something that we all strive for. I know it's something that I've been striving for for a really long time. The very first thing I want to say is that the healthier your hair is, the more natural shine you're gonna get on your hair. So when my hair was damaged and I had bleach damage and heat damage, my hair was really, really not shiny. And the healthier my hair has gotten, the more I have a natural shine to my hair. But as I said in the intro, because our hair is curly or wavy, um, less of the hair is actually reflecting the light at any given time. So it's harder to get that like mirror glass shine on curly and wavy hair than it is on straight hair. But obviously, as always, Curlsmith have our back. You know how much I love Curlsmith. And I am so pleased to introduce their latest product. It is the Curlsmith Shine Oil. So Curlsmith released their Shine range, which is a fragrance-free range, um, just like a few months ago. And I will link the video, I think it's this side. I will link the video somewhere up here of my first impressions of the Shine range. I actually used the same Shine range again today, the same products as before. And I, of course, recorded my styling routine and I'm gonna share that with you in a moment. But first I just wanted to talk about the Shine Oil, what it is and what the benefits are. So the Shine Oil has been formulated fragrance-free like the rest of the Shine range. And it also has been formulated to be very lightweight and to absorb into the hair easily. So you don't have to worry about making your hair look super greasy or weighed down. You can use it to scrunch out the crunch or just to smooth over any frizz and also just to seal in moisture into your hair. So what's really interesting, I'm going to read it straight from the box because it says it better than I can. It says it contains a next generation blend of plant derived esters specifically designed to outperform silicones while being lighter than raw oils. So you know the serums that we all used to use that were mostly silicon and we loved them because they would kind of smooth down frizz and make our hair look shiny. But in doing that, they can tend to sit on the hair, build up on the hair easily if you're not clarifying regularly. And on the other hand, raw oils, whilst there are a lot of benefit to natural oils, raw oils can be a lot heavier, like think coconut oil or argan oil. You know, obviously they're, they're amazing natural substances, but put them straight directly on your hair, it can be a bit much. So Curlsmith have formulated this shine oil using natural ingredients, but cleverly formulated so that it is going to work better than a silicon based serum or oil, but also not be as heavy and weigh your hair down like natural raw oils can. So like I said, I used the shine range on my hair today and I'm loving the results. I'm gonna share with you now exactly what I did, my styling routine, and uh, then at the end, I'm gonna show you one way that I like to use the new shine oil. Okay, so I've sped up this process a little bit, but not too much. Um, starting with the shine cream, which is actually a leave-in conditioner, and I'm just raking that through my soaking wet hair. My hair is really, really wet here. Um, and obviously I've shampooed and conditioned already in the shower with the Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. So I'm just raking that leave-in through really, really thoroughly. And then I'm just using my brush to distribute it, make sure it's all thoroughly distributed. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do after I've just sort of put my hair where I want it to be is start by sectioning my hair. So I'm doing the my modification of the... Uh, flip section method by Sophie Marie Curley. So I'm separating my hair into three sections, um, one from the ears upwards, the next one from diagonally sort of from the ears to the, the crown, and then obviously just the hair at the front is last. Uh, I'm going to start with that hair at the front, and that's the only section I'm actually going to be styling forwards. So I'm starting with the Shine Jelly, which is just such a lovely lightweight whoops, gel. <laughs> splurged it all over the floor. <laughs> I always spill or drop something, don't I? Without fail. And I'm just going to rake it through first of all, make sure it's really well distributed in that entire section, making sure I'm not missing those little side bits. And then I'll use my brush and brush it through with a bit of tension just to um, create some nice definition and clumps. So rather than do each section in one, which is in the original flip section method, I like to do each section in about three set three smaller sections and for me that just helps the hair to hang better where you know where it's supposed to hang rather than be clumped wrongly if I did it in a one or then those side sections don't get quite the same amount of definition 
So now I'm taking down the bottom section. So this is the way that I found works best so far. Front, then the back section, then the middle section. Because I like to do the middle and the back sections with my head upright rather than brushing the hair forward, I like to brush the hair back. And that just helps my curls to be their best. It works best for me. So try it Sophie's way with all the hair forward and try it my way with these sections upright and see what works best for you. So again, I'm just gonna section this uh, back section into three um, bring the, the the sides forward and then I'm going to brush the middle section back again just so the hair is likely more likely to sit nicely where it's supposed to sit if that makes sense there we go and give it a shake and then brush the sides out away from the scalp and a shake and then always uh, finish with a, a gentle scrunch after I've done this um, which I did on the last section as well but didn't mention it but you'll have seen it a gentle scrunch and then we're going to go on to that middle section um, so now it's just a case of taking that hair down and separating it now when I separate this section I twist the sections that I'm not using um, out the way oh I forgot I've got to add the gel first <laughs> that was close I almost forgot <laughs> so just raking through the gel just making sure I get the gel thoroughly distributed all the way through right the way to the edges of the section um, and then like I was saying before uh, when I'm going to separate the section into three hour or possibly more I'll twist away the bits that I'm not brushing currently so that they don't get tangled with the rest of the already styled hair so there I can easily find that twisted section split it again and brush style nice and easy it's not very complicated, although in my last video I made it look exceptionally complicated. Hopefully this video is an awful lot clearer as to how I actually do this, this method. So then just, I've only got that front section really that needs to now fall backwards because the other sections were brushed upright and backwards. Um, so it doesn't take too much work. Just a gentle all over scrunch. And then it's on to diffusing and I will link the video at the top here to see how I diffuse. Now when you get partway through diffusing, if you start to notice you've got a lot of frizz or flyaways, then this is something that can really, really help to stop that in its tracks. So I'm using just a pea-sized amount of the Curl Smith Shine Gel, which is the harder hold gel, and I'm adding quite a lot of water in my hands and emulsifying that in my hands really, really well, and then smoothing it over. And this is often called the Smasters Technique, and honestly, it works amazingly well. You can also um, use praying hands to do this and lightly break the cast that's forming. And if your hands, as soon as your hands start to feel even slightly sticky, add more water to your hands. That is essential. Otherwise, actually, you're going to drag at your hair with sticky hands and that's going to cause more frizz. Um, you can always add a little bit more gel. You can add more than one pea-sized amount if you feel the need. But I just added that one pea-sized amount and just kept wetting my hands. And then as I'm doing here, any bits that aren't quite clumping, you can just help them gently if your hands are wet enough help them to clump by gently finger coiling them. And I promise you this technique is absolutely amazing. It's a total game changer and it's a way of stopping the frizz before it really is allowed to take hold. So as you can see, amazing results, really defined and um, shiny. It works. It does what it says on the bottle. It also just feels so, so soft and just lovely. It doesn't feel producty at all, which um, I know I don't like it when my hair feels producty. I can kind of put up with producty feeling hair if it looks really good, but I do love uh, when it looks great and it just feels lovely too. Like I can slide my fingers in at the roots and shake it and, you know, my hands don't come out feeling producty and my hair feels lovely and soft. So, so pleased with that wash day. So what I'm going to do now is go about the rest of my day. I've got more filming to do. I'm filming today and tomorrow I'm going to hop right back on here and I'm going to show you how I like to use the shine oil to smooth over and just like refresh my hair the next day and add that shine back in because, you know, our hair tends to get frizzy, like next day hair tends to be more frizzy than wash day for a lot of us. It's hard to have frizz and shiny hair. So I'm going to show you how I use the shine oil to smooth over the frizz and make my hair look shiny even on day two and beyond. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is not day two hair, which is what I promised. This is actually day three hair. Um, we're going to go with saying that I decided to do this on day three hair so you could see more of a difference with the uh, shine oil. Um, actually, I just was so busy yesterday and I forgot, but actually it's worked out quite well because it is true that my day three here obviously is that little bit more frizzy and undefined. So hopefully we'll get to see exactly what this baby can do. I just wanted to say I really love 
the packaging. It's just got such a kind of a luxe, luxurious feel. And the fact you can see that golden oil through the glass, I really, really like it. Super simple, but really effective, I think. Um, and then it's obviously got a little dropper top so we can just, oh, looks so nice. Because my hair is fine and quite easily weighed down, I'm just gonna start with like three drops, literally three drops. If you have coarse hair or a lot more hair than I do, um, then you could obviously use more. I've got, those, I've got those three drops in my hand and I'm just gonna rub them into my hands. It's kind of gone, like that is, quite something that is really lightweight it's just absorbed really fast into my hands a lot more than I was expecting it to I'm actually gonna add a couple more drops I feel like that bodes really well for um, not hopefully not going to weigh down my hair at all so I'm just gonna smooth over the halo frizz and just generally smooth over my hair to start with I have got some stretched out areas, like I say, it's day three here. I'm not obviously expecting this oil to make my curls spring back like, you know, a ref uh, like a damp refresh or a cream refresh would do. But what I am hoping for is just added shine, which I actually think you can almost instantly see that it has added that shine. Um, and just to smooth down the frizz, just look at that. Wow, <laughs> really does look shiny. Um, yeah, so just to, to control that halo frizz, which, which we just get when we go about our daily business. I am, um, am I making up or has that made a huge difference? I mean, me looking right now in, into my screen here, it looks like it's made an absolutely massive difference, a lot more than I was expecting it to. Wow, okay, I see you shine oil, doing your thing, doing what it says on the bottle. Definitely, definitely looks shinier than it did. I wasn't expecting quite that much of a difference. Okay, awesome. Ah, love it when a plan comes together. It doesn't look even slightly greasy. There's no sort of oil slick look. It's just absorbed into my hair whilst taming the frizz, which is, exactly what I wanted it to do. I have no idea how the back looks as usual. I haven't even looked at the back because it's just been a busy day of mum duties. But yeah, that is um, a really, really great first impression of the shine oil on like day three hair because I haven't used it on day three hair yet. I've used it on wash day and I was impressed but I wasn't expecting it to bring my hair back as much as it just has. So that's a thumbs up from me, absolutely. As always, I have a code for Curlsmith, it's Marisa10, and that goes for any first order on curlsmith.com, and curlsmith.com ships to the UK, Europe, and the US. So if you're in any of those places, you can use my code to order. And as always, I'll link uh, everything that I used in the description box too. Let me know if you um, get your hands on this brand new oil and uh, if you do then let me know what you think of it thank you for being here i hope you have a great day and i will see you soon bye